Hello. I am public, I think. if anybody can see me am I on the right one no I'm not where am I oh I was cancel bear with me one minute Hello, hello. Anybody there? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. There's, there we go. I can't see. Oh, there we are. I can see it all now. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hope you're well. Hello, Anna. Hello, Laura. How are you? I wasn't sure if it was all working. And I just had to go and tell my son off. He's playing computer games and swearing. So I told him to shut up, basically. <laughs> I hope we are all well and uh, so glad to be back. It's good to be back. So I'll just wait and see if any more people are coming in. Um, yeah, it's just been a nice little break away. Let everyone get on with this summer. Uh, I thought just let everyone kind of get on and and do their own thing and then come back once the weather starts getting a little bit colder the nights start drawing in you know and then we can start sitting about and uh and doing things again um you just get so busy in the summer don't you so um oh i tell you what nancy this is so much fun and can be adapted in so many ways um, we've got lots of good things. I've actually got, I'm going to give you a little breakdown of um, some of the things that we've got coming up. So obviously we've got the um, spider's web. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this every other week. So it's not going to be a weekly thing. It's going to be every other week because I am still studying as well. So uh, I just need kind of a bit of time for that. Hi, Gabrielle. How are you? <laughs> um, so... Yeah, so I'm just going to do it every other week, same time, seven o'clock, unless there's anything different going on. Obviously, I will let you know. Um, but we seem to have sorted out the Internet problem. Um, the next one, I will be coming back from my mum's in Wales. So um, I will be here for it. So don't worry. And I've got everything prepared anyway. So here's a kind of rundown of some of the things that you can expect in the next i basically got everything planned up until christmas so i thought because we're now coming into september and into fall and um into ha halloween and things like that i thought i'd do a few halloweeny type things so the next one after this one is going to be a halloween wreath um which i'll show you at the end of this live because i've i've actually got that one ready and then after this after that one so that's going to be on Tuesday, the 28th of September. Um, on the 12th of October, I'm going to do something quite... I've not really dabbled in it. I've got the equipment and everything, but I've, I've done it a little bit. So I'm going to have to have a little bit of a practice, but I really want to do this. And I've seen some fantastic things. And uh, it's pyography. And I want to do um, 
pyro pyrography pyrography um you know and do something like that with a wooden spoon so watch this space for that i've also got wands if you want to make some wands that's coming up on the 26th of october so you can get your your wands ready to get rid of those pesky little kids at the door um and then on to that after that we're going to go into christmas so yes don't worry gabrielle your gothic dreams will come true um i'm going to be doing some steampunk baubles and things like that so gothic steampunk all kinds of things like that so we're going to do that uh we're going to do some wire work angels as well and then um i'm going to do some jewelry and things if you want to do some jewelry for crackers what have you and then on december the 21st which is obviously a tuesday we're going to have a little bit of a christmas celebration so just it'd be nice to kind of if if you do make some things send me some pictures we could have a little bit of a gallery and uh, we could do something like that and have a, uh, a a nice festive cup of tea and maybe a piece of christmas cake or something like that but that's the kind of plan up until christmas and then after that we've got easter and all sorts of other fantastic things coming up so um i'm absolutely looking forward to the next few weeks anyway so you know up until christmas get christmas out of the way then we can bring in some new things maybe learn something new over the new year or something like that so that'd be really amazing <laughs> oh halloween is known as goth christmas oh well that's right then well my goth christmas goes from basically now straight through till whenever so you know but we are all here and i thought i would show you what we are going to make we are making as i said a wire work um web now this could be used uh, in the corner of a window a door on my doors i don't know if you can see i don't think you can i've got like the door and then there's like a little window panel above the door um so you could put it in there um you could put it in um into i don't know uh into like a, a bathroom door or something like that if you've got like a little window in that it, it can go anywhere bookcases anywhere and basically this is what we are going to make and it is i'm going to uh get a piece of paper if i just get a piece of paper you might be able to see it better and if i show you what i mean by putting it in the corner of something you would put it and obviously whatever color wire you decide to use is up to you but this is the kind of thing that we are going to do today so we've got like the wire work um web and then we've got a little wire work spider just on there so the things that you're going to need to create this i'm going to do it on a smaller scale than this so then we can see it but it can be scaled up it can be scaled down so if you wanted to even do this as like an ear cuff and have the spider hanging down you could probably do something like that as well so what i'm going to do is i don't know if anybody else is coming in i think it's just us if not we can all you know we can welcome everybody as they arrive right then so let's bring you down and hopefully right. i haven't um i haven't forgotten how to do this so let's go <laughs> right i'm using my macrame uh board as well so then you can see everything so what will you need for this so i have got some point uh, one mil wire here this is just a copper colored wire i get this wire um from the uh wire man and well that's what i call him and me and my sister call him it i think it's wires.com or wires.co.uk and i always get my wires like these type of wires from there because you get so much and I, this is actually just left over from um i had a wedding project to do years ago and it's just left over from that so we've got some of that you're going to need some of that i've got some uh, 0.4 wire i'm just using it in a different color as well just to add a little bit of depth uh, i have got a little well it's not little it's a 10 millimeter i think it's a 10 yeah 10 mil uh, this is a golden obsidian bead and i think that is it 
well obviously and your tools so the tools that you're going to need i've got my pliers round nose pliers cutters i've got my other round nose pliers and just some other bent nose pliers i i you can use any pliers that you like but i've just got the bent nose ones at this moment in time right then let's get going so we are going to do a scaled down version so as you can see here this is the size that we're going to go for so i can show you how to build up to get to this stage and then we can move on from this can we all see i'm hoping you can do i need to bring it down forward anymore or is that fine this way i think i don't know let me know let me know in the comments if I need to move, if I need to move my mat or anything. While I just take a slurp of tea. Are we all good? Right, I'm going to move my mouse because you don't want to see that. Right then, so for this particular size, um, I have got, we're going to start off with two lengths of wire and they are i think they're nine yeah nine inches each so move it up a little up up to there right move it up there is that okay oh yes don't worry i will show you some close-ups gabrielle don't worry so what we're going to do is i am going to just take my nine inch piece of wire here and i'm just going to eyeball the two ends just there now it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we are uh, creating a little bit of a um of a what a uh, web so i'm just going to go in with my pliers there i was just trying to read up on what was going on then but everything's fine so i've just literally put in a little bend in my wire there as to where the halfway point is and i've just done that on that side as well so what i'm going to do next just bring those bits together bring those sides together and this is actually quite good for having the bent nose pliers because you can actually just go in and then straighten everything up as i say it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect it just depends on how you want your web to be so that's the first one a hair on there there we go and then i'm going to do the exact same thing on this side so just bring that down pop in with my pliers just to create that angle and then smooth it all out and then just pop in just on the top there and bring our angle together like so so now we've got basically two arrows or two triangles so now what we're going to do is we're going to wire work these together now on the original one here as you can see we've got one two three you could have a fourth one if you wanted to it just depends on how large you want your web to be but at the moment we're just going to start off with the two then we're going to take our point four give that a little bit of a chop there i was looking for some darker point four but i don't think i've got any not up here anyway i might have in the in the workshop downstairs oh hang on a second ah here we go you might be able to see better with that i don't know and i bet it's a new one. Oh, there we are oh no that's 0.25 so no forget it right okay so i'm gonna take uh, one of the triangles that we've created and when i usually wrap wire wrap if i bring that just up to here see if i can um when i wire wrap usually what i do is i will leave um about an inch just at the end just so i've got something to get hold of and then i'm just going to wrap round one two 
three, four, five times. Just along there. And you can bring that down to the crease there. So now you've got your wire sitting at the back of your work. We're going to bring in our other triangle. And what we're going to do now is incorporate that other triangle by bringing the wire back round to the front. It's going to be a little bit fiddly and my hands are going to get in the way at the moment, but you'll see what I mean afterwards. And then we're going to wrap round once and twice. Now what you want to avoid is your wires crossing over. You want to keep them as flat as possible. So let's have a look, see if you can see that just on there you want to kind of get them so they're like that hopefully you can see that like so then we're going to bring the wire back round to the back and we're going to go in between these two wires here so you're going to go one two three and four bringing finishing that wire at the back of your work again push everything together incorporate the two so you're going to do one and two so you've incorporated the two splay those two out again you're going to wrap around one two three four and then incorporate the two and you're going to do that all the way up until you get to probably about an inch from the top because we're going to be curling the end of our wire just to finish that off so I'll show you that again so always finish each move with your point four coming out to the back of your work so if you can see there it's pointing out backwards to your work just there so again you want to go in between these two here so forget these two for now and then you're going to go one two three four now you don't have to do this particular pattern you can um do a, a five and five a four and four you know it just depends on how you want your um your piece to look now on the original if i just show you that's that's our two incorporating split that and then you do another four one two three and four so if i just get the original piece as you can see here i actually didn't do that i only did it up on these sections here so I only wanted to do it up on these sections here. But then afterwards, I thought, no, I think it would look better with this being wrapped quite decoratively. And then we're going to do the, the wire web weaving after that. So you would then carry on doing that until you have got. So let's just imagine that's what we've got so far. So until you get all the way up to the top and then I'll show you how to do the scrolls as well. I've just gone ahead and done the other two here. So we've got one, two, three sections there. So that is going to sit in, in your uh, window or what have you. It's not a very good piece of paper, Katie. Oh, why can I never find anything when you want to? Well, that's, that's not going to make any difference. So it could sit like so so as you can see here i have now finished on my weaving but i haven't finished on the two i have finished on the single because it's easier to clamp that off when we're done okay so it's just easier to cut that and when i i'll show you what i mean so depending on which side um your work is going to sit it's not going to be rubbing on the skin or anything like that but it's just a good habit to get into when you're 
working with wire is just to crimp off and finish your work so i'm literally just going to come in with my flat nose pliers and i'm just cutting right in the base and then where there's that little burr just squeeze that in like so and then it's just not going to be scratchy or anything not like i say not that you're going to wear it but if you are going to make a pendant like this obviously it's going to be on a shorter scale but you don't want it to scratch the person who's wearing it so now we're going to use our round nose pliers just to create the rolls at the top now i think this is quite a uh, tin tim burton-esque kind of web so what we're going to do is i'm going to go in with my round nose pliers and making sure that they're sitting flush up against the round nose section and i'm just going to rotate my wrist round so we've got this lovely hook and then i'm just going to let it we're not making a, a proper spiral we're just kind of doing a curl and i'm just going to let the wire kind of follow that around do you see what i mean so if you wanted to make the inside a little bit more curved you just go straight back in and then just bring that back round and give that a little bit of a squeeze with your pliers there you can make that a little bit tighter and then you can just bring that back round so there we've got one side and we'll do the exact same thing on this side so bringing our wire down and it just depends on how like i say you want your scrolls scrolls and rolls to be so just give that a little pinch together and then if you see on here i've actually just literally wire wrapped all the way up so that all basically all you're going to do for that is take your remaining wire i'm not going to do the whole thing but take your remaining wire that you just had left off again i like to leave out about an inch just move those out of the way i like to leave about an inch of wire just so then you've got something to hold on to and then i'm literally i always start the top because it's just easier and you're literally just wrapping the wire around the other wire so effectively you're um gizmoing the wire so you know we have the gizmo tool that is basically what we're doing here just to create that nice effect you never know i might be able to get it done let's have a look see if we can so is everything you can see all of that all all right yes i do agree they do they are like the um nightmare before christmas or something like that i love i mean we're coming up to beetlejuice time aren't we i mean i love that film and i love the stylized sections in that film and i mean you could just tell it's it's like um it's his signature isn't it really you know you think about a william morris print you know exactly when you see a william morris print or a liberty print or something like that you know exactly who it is and i think that's the same thing with tim burton as well i think you know if you watch his films any of his films you know exactly who made the film because he just has that particular signature doesn't he and usually the same cast <laughs> so how is everybody anyway how how uh how have we all been doing have we all been doing well in this wonderful and i'm being sarcastic time <laughs> oh dear i have struggled a little bit sometimes it's been a little bit you know my mojo went missing and then literally today i sat down and i just thought you know what you're just gonna have to do just gonna have to do it right so there we go i hope everybody is keeping well anyway and that everybody's been been good so as you can see now we've got our little section here now you could do the whole thing like a, a round and then you've got yourself a little snowflake so like i say it's very very versatile let's get rid of that 
and just get rid of that and then we'll just neaten those ends off and I'm really looking forward to doing all the other projects as well it's you know it's given me a a new lease of life so and I do hope that uh, Gemma and Sue get better soon because I think they're um they haven't been very well have they at all I think a little bit of fatigue and a little bit of laryngitis and all sorts it can knock you for six can't it so I'll just do this curl on the end of here so even if they're not watching I hope they get better soon right so now we've got our little set square I suppose you could call it then we're going to go in with our wire again now what I usually do is take probably about two arms lengths it's better to have too much than not enough and for the weaving of the web oh she was on tv today was she oh brilliant brilliant right then so again we're going to start from the bottom but i'm going to start from the bottom here on the on the top bottom on the top that sounds the lower section of our first top section if you get my drift and i'm going to leave a little inch there and then i'm just going to wrap round once and twice and then come round to the back of the second section wrap round once and wrap round twice bringing that up and i'm going to go over this next section once twice so we've finished on the top bring that down and underneath one and two then I'm going to bring that round so you you were on the top you're now going to go underneath bring that round one and two bring it up and over one and two bring that down and under and you're going to go one and two bring that up uh no down and over down and under one and two up and over one and two down and under one and two and then underneath there one and two up and over one two down and under one and two down and under one and two up and over one oops and two down and under one and two down and under one two up and over one and two and then down and under and then I'm just going to take that wrap that round a couple of times and then I'm going to use the rest of this to create our spider so you don't have to you can take it off if you want to and then reattach but I just thought while we're here in fact I will do uh no I'll I'll keep that there because then that's fine okay so we're going to get actually no we're not we're going to cut that off I will cut that off bring that round and we'll just cut that off so now we've got our web 
so you can then play about with that if you like just to create a little bit more of a a web obviously yours will be bigger if you make it the same size as the original if you make it the same size as that yours will be a little bit bigger than this one but this one would be nice if you wanted to um, give somebody a bottle of wine or something a nice little charm to put on your bottle of wine or something like that so we'll pop that to one side now we're going to work on our spider whoops so i am going to take my um step pliers you don't need to it's just that i like the uh, length of these or the size of these and i'm going to go with this particular this particular um mandrel just on here and i'm going to bring our wire round and then twist it like so and then pop that back in and then where we've got them together we are going to twist just on there one two and three we'll do three for luck there we go take that off and that is where I bring this up here that is where the legs are going to go so we're going to thread on the body now and as I say it's a, you don't have to use a um, gemstone as big as this it just depends obviously on what you have in your stash so we've got one side longer than the other that's fine because we're going to use one side for creating the legs but I'm just going to stick both of these through and bring that all the way to the end so then you've got something that looks a little bit like that so you've got your loop at the top there and then you've got your um your gemstone then we're going to bring this side around up here and then I'm just going to wrap that round once and twice so then we can forget about that for now and we're going to do the same on this one but this time I'm going to bring it up through the loop and then I'm going to wrap it around and then back through there just to secure everything so I'm just going to hold that down there and then you're just bringing that all together like so now then with your longer section we are going to then start creating our legs so I usually like to leave probably about an inch so what I usually do is I'll pop my fingers, my thumb and my index finger where I want my leg to be. And then I'll pop the other end through the loop like so, maybe about there actually. And we're just going to flatten that together. So then you've got something. So you've got your leg and then you've got this piece of wire going through the loop. And we're going to loop that round one more time. So as we're doing that, I hold on to what we've just created. So hold on to that and bring that through just to secure it one more time. OK, so now we've got our first leg. Now to secure that in place, I'm going to get my pliers holding on to what we've just made. And we're going to twist. So twist all of that together and it'll just keep everything nice and secure. All right, so now that's one leg. Bring your wire down. So now you've got a leg to measure up against. Bring that back round. Bring that back round to there. Hold on to where you've just gone through. And now you're going to pop that end 
through your loop like so hold on to that and then just wrap it around one more time just to secure everything in place and then we're going to wrap twist I mean so grab your leg twist 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 and you want to do that eight times now I should have prepared another one of these but I'm just going to go ahead and keep making these legs just flatten that put that through there there we go grab that to there bend it over pop that through your loop like so oops I'm going off going off piece there people right pop that up there and as I say you can turn these into if you wanted to do this with a smaller gemstone you could have these or bead you could have these as earrings so and then that wire is going in my tea that's nice and then just twist again like so can you see how it's building up and we can do that on that side there Bring that down straight through there and then bring that up there so hopefully you can see where this is going just has anyone gone done a staycation or anything like that or in the in the last few weeks did everyone watch the olympics i didn't really watch the olympics to be honest um but you know what else has happened really quite a lot of things have happened haven't they really i suppose in the uh, grand scheme of things I still haven't won the lottery, so I went up north to go and visit my sister. And then, uh, what else have we done? Oh, we went camping. We went to a place called, I think actually we'd just been the last Tinker Tuesday, I think. I'd just come back off holiday. Uh, we went to a place called, uh, oh, crikey. Buh, buh, buh. I want to say Bambra, but it wasn't Bambra. Bruh. Anyway, it was in Norfolk. It was on the Norfolk. Brancaster, that's it. It was on the Norfolk coast. And um, it was freezing. And it was the end of June. It was my birthday. It was absolutely freezing. But never mind. Um, but we got to try out our new tent. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, so we've got to try out our new tent. We've got a bell tent and it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I loved it. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, go away next year. Because I think we've had it for weather this time. So I'm just coming up to the last leg after this one and then we can make it look a little bit more spider-like. So if you've got crystals or something like that, you could definitely do this with crystals. It would look stunning. You know, if you if you did that, you could put them in your hair. Um, something like that. That would actually that'd look really cool. So that's that. And then we'll just do one more and pop that 
onto there and then we'll just twist twist the legs together keeping everything together oops you don't want to twist too much because otherwise you will break the wire but it's fine if you just do it a few times because obviously then you're work hardening the wire and it will become brittle and then it will snap and that is not what you want it to do so now we've got the legs i'm just going to take this bit of the wire the end of the wire here and then i'm just going to wrap it around the kind of neck area i suppose there we go and then we can tuck that through there pull that through that's it and then give that a little chop and then we can hopefully hide that into the rest of the wire Ooh, and i forgot how tiring this is now then with the legs all i did with the other one was i literally just went in and put in a little little angle there just to give it a little bit of definition there so there is our spider so we'll get our web so you could either have him actually on the web if you wanted to or like i've got you could have him just sitting off the web so what should we do on or off what do we think <laughs> yeah i know nancy it's terrible isn't it i've got work tomorrow so back to work for me <laughs> so i think i'm gonna put him on i think yeah we'll put him on because we've got the other one off so we're going to bring that back down to the end there and i'm just literally going to wrap this on here let's see bring that through the center so i'm just bringing that wire through the center of here and then we can wrap in all of the little um kind of mountains that we created earlier wrap that up to there Bring that round like so, and then we'll bring that up to there. And there he is sitting on the end, waiting for his prey or her prey. Like that, pop that onto there. In fact, what I might do is come up and then just with the loop pop that through the loop there just to secure secure that a bit better there we go and then i can bring that round to there it's kind of just looking to see where you want to put your wire like so bring that back up back down through Nice and tight. Bring that back up to there. And then we'll bring that back down and then I'll give that a little chop off if you like. And then that is. Oh, <laughs> dangling is good and I've put him on. <laughs> Never mind. One on, one off. There you go. So now you could have it just like that. You could have one dangling as well. So we've got one there. If you've got a crystal, actually, that would look really cool with the crystal on there. So you've got that one there. And then we've got this one just dangling off there as well. So that's our web. So I hope you enjoyed that. 
I did. I think I just think they look amazing. I really do. I think they're really cool. Um, let's have a look. So that's that. Right then. So I am going to bring you back up. What time is it? Oh, that's pretty good actually. Done. 45 minutes. That's pretty good. So I've really enjoyed doing that actually. So it's kind of got me thinking about things. So next week, I said we were going to do a wreath. So I'm going to show you what I created today, just as a little um, something. Now, these could go onto a wreath if you want to. So you could then use this and then use it on your wreath um, in the next fortnight. But this is what... I'll get my bit of paper again. This is what we're going to be creating. So we've got this Halloween wreath just like that I'm going to show you how to do a couple of different versions of uh, of these wreaths and um, where you can get the actual uh, wreaths from but that is what hopefully we will be doing it does say um, which way is the candy I don't know if you can see that there so that is uh, what we will be doing. So I've got that one and then I've actually, I, I haven't finished this one at all or even, I'm just playing a bit about with a little bit of Hessian. So we've got a Hessian ribbon as well. If you've got a Costco near you, this is where I get the ribbon from. It's got like a wire in it. It's amazing. So that is what we are going to be doing on the, what date did I say that was? That is on Tuesday the 28th of September at 7 o'clock. So, um, yeah, and just to show you, I do wear the things that I make. This is uh, one of the things I was doing. I did a Tink Tuesday on this. I've actually embroidered this one now, so I painted it on, but I embroidered it as well. So just to, you know, I do, I do wear these things. So, um, yeah, I really am pleased with that. Fantastic. So thank you so much for... Uh, for joining me today it's been fantastic for taking just a little bit of time out of your day to come and spend it with me it means a lot to me it really really does so thank you so much and uh hopefully i will see you out and about on other pages you know either on laura's or on um babble and dabble as well crow's mojo i think she's got her um birthday celebrations coming up in a few weeks time so i will see you in a couple of weeks thank you so much you have a great evening and I will see you soon. Bye.